Hey guys, today's video I'm going to be reviewing thegoodhair.com. I received a wig from them and I'll be reviewing it for you guys today and letting you guys know how it works, how it looks, and I'm going to be unboxing it right now. So this is the package that it came in. It has its, um, its uh, website and social media name. <laughs> so... It's a side box, and when you open it, you get the wig, and you also get a bag. So I'm just gonna unbox the bag first, just to show you guys what's in it. It's a nice little pouch. Um, inside of it, you get two wig caps, flesh toned. You get a rat tail comb. Ooh, you get a band for your wig just in case it's loose. Oh, you get a pack of bobby pins, which is really convenient. You get, um, oh, it's a broken hair finishing cream. I actually have never used this before, but this is how it looks. I guess I'll be trying it out. Uh, and then you get some alligator clips, you actually get two alligator clips and oh a tweezer ooh for plucking I think yeah that's all that came in this bag I feel like this is really nice to have especially if you're a beginner if it's your first wig especially the wig caps guys because I use these a lot especially when you're doing the no scalp method so this is really nice to have touching on the wig it's a 12 inch bob that's a 200 density um i must admit that it's washed because i recently bleached the knots that's why it's wet but um the only thing i did to this wig was bleach the knots because i wanted to come on camera showing you guys how i style it without wasting time showing you guys how to bleach it because I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to bleach knots, but as you can see, the hairline the hairline is really nice. Um, I'm going to be pinning it down with my T-pins. As you guys can see, I'm going to be using the comb from the bags. I'm going to try and use all the tools from the bags just to just to show you guys that you can use, you can just get this and use everything that's um, given to you. Uh, so as you guys can see, it has a really nice hairline. I will be plucking a little just to give it a more natural look. So yeah, I think this is about three to four inches. And it's pretty decent, I really like it. It's a bob wig, so and it's 12 inches, so you really want the hair to look as natural as possible because I think that when I'm wearing short hair or bobs, um, I want the hair to look like mine even more than ever before because it's like, you know, short bob hair, it's like I just got a fresh cut on my own natural hair, but not really. I'm going to be plucking the hair lining right now just to give it that natural look, and I'm going to be using the tweezer that I got from the bag to do so. So I'll just show you guys how I start. So I'm just going to show you guys like this is how the hairline looks and I'll be right back to show you how it looks after. I plucked a little bit from this side. As you guys can see, this side is a little bit more thicker and this side has a little bit more going on. Just a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm gonna pluck this side off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so I plucked um, a little bit of the edges. Not too much because I didn't want to go crazy and have it look like balding. But when I put it on my head, I'll look at it some more and see if like there's anything else that I'd want to do to it. You know, to make it look as natural as possible. So right now I'm just going to blow dry the hair and straighten it because it's a little bit wet still. As this is a 12 inch bob, so 
it looks like this and it's really nice um, it's, it says it's 200 density um, so when it's dried and straightened we'll see like how exactly it looks and how it fits my head So I blow dried the hair and as you guys can see, it's very thick and full. It's definitely around 200 density, as you guys can see. Bob life, ooh, ooh. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do really quickly off camera is straighten the hair just to like give it that like sleek finish. And I'll be right back and I'll be applying the wig, showing you guys how it lays and how it stays. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys soon. Just wanted to show you how voluminous this is. This is definitely 200, guys. It's really thick. It's not thin at all. Hey guys, so I'm back and I put a stocking cap on my head. Um, I am not using the one that came in the bag because I want to save that for when I do like the no scalp method. So I just wanted to show you how she looks. I'm gonna call her Bobby. <laughs> Okay, so before I put her on my head, I'm going to kind of flip it inside out and put some foundation, powder foundation, on the inside of the lace. So I'm just putting it on just so it could show a little on the other side. Okay, so as... As far as fitting, it fits perfect, guys. Wow, it fits perfect. Like the the wig cap, like the sizing, it fits great on my head. Um, it's definitely a 13 by 4. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to clip the hooks in the back. After hooking it, it feels way more secure than without hooking it. The next step, what I like to do is I like to take the front portion of the hair and pull it back out of my face. The first thing I need to do is cut the extra, the extra lace from around my air flaps. I'm gonna take my little razor and cut the lace only because I feel like it cuts it a little bit more nicely than the scissors does. It's not as neat and straight. Alright guys, so I cut the lace off and as you guys can see, it semi looks like I just got a fresh perm. Um, one thing I realized is that the lace stops up here. Normally my wigs, they come down here so I have more room. But that's not a big deal. Um, and this is just how the lace is looking without it being glued down or anything. So what I usually do next is I fold the lace and... As y'all can see, my skin right here is lighter because all the wigs I wear and it's getting hot outside and I'm getting a tan on my face but not <laughs> where the lace is placed. Okay, whatever. As usual, I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol. I'm not trying to lay this wig down on a dirty surface. For today, I'm going to be using <laughs> my very messy Ghost Bond glue. Y'all can tell that I really use this all the time. And I'm just gonna start in the center just so I have. Oh! Don't do that! Yeah, I'm gonna start. Okay, I'm running low. I'm just going to lay the front part down first because it's already white. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to clip it 
put this section just so that when I'm laying it down that this part doesn't fall down in the glue and sticks. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for the side to dry a little bit more and I'm gonna take the clips out and Okay, while this is holding, I'm just going to take a little bit more glue to fill in the spots that need a little bit of excess. Okay, after I laid the lace down and it looks like it's going to stick a little, I put my scarf on, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to, normally I would just do my makeup or um, just do something random while the uh, lace is setting. And for now, I'm just going to wait 10 minutes and I'll be right back because I really want this to melt in but get into this bob length, guys. It's so nice. It literally just stops at my shoulders. 12 inches, y'all. Now, if it was straight, it would probably be right here so yeah this is pretty nice length if you don't want to go too short but you don't want to be like too long 12 is like right in the middle and the way it's cut is the back is a little bit shorter and then it goes down into an a-line bob so it's pretty nice but i'll be right back to show you guys how the lace is laying on my head hey guys so it's been a while since i've had this head scarf on so i'm gonna remove it now Okay, so the next step, as y'all can see, it's pretty laid, it's pretty laid, but the next step is to apply makeup. Yes, I'm not done. I normally use makeup after to just blend it into my skin a little bit more, so I'm just going to use a skin tone color and just dab it in, and as y'all can see, look. As soon as I put it there, that gray shadow literally disappeared. That's what you want. So I'm gonna do that all over the hairline. As y'all can see the difference, it's brown right there and a little bit white. It takes away the white cast. And of course, a lot of people, they do edges, but I believe that on straight hairs and bobs that edges just look a little bit too fake. I like how um, edges look on curly hair instead. But let me just finish blending my edges out, you know. This is a big, um, whenever I'm filling out the edge, the perimeter, I only use powder. I never use cream or liquid foundation. Only because you, it won't blend properly. It will look really, it will get really cakey and it will mess with the glue, the formula. This one, however, is just laying on top of the lace. So it won't look as bad. This, for this process, you don't want to use a brush that's too tiny or too big. This brush is a fluffy brush and it's, it's medium so it's a good size for the part. However, you can go with a smaller brush if you want to if you feel more comfortable. Because this one does get everywhere. You just have to wipe off the lace. Um, and this is pretty much how it's going to look. 
yeah, yeah. Brush my edges back just to show you guys how natural it looks. Now, if I didn't pluck the hairline, the hairline would look very thick. So that's why I pluck it to give me that like fake permed, fresh permed look. And I'm gonna put this behind because I'm gonna be using that that stick glue thing that we got in the package. Honestly, I've never used it before and I'm not completely sure what it's called, but I'm gonna use it only because I wanna try out everything that came with the bag as I said before. Well, I'm gonna take it one more time and just As you guys can see, it's really like keeping the hair firm and laid down. And I'm gonna put some on the parting space. Guys, this wig looks amazing right now i'm not even just saying that just because but this wig looks amazing right now let me let me get closer because i don't think you guys are seeing what i'm seeing right now like look at this and if i'm being honest with you guys wigs for me personally they look better with time like the more they, they stretch and the more I wear them, they just look even better. So imagine how this wig is gonna look like a month from now. Amazing. So guys, this is how the hairline looks and it's blowing all minds. It looks amazing. I look like I just went to the doobie shop and just got my hair straightened and curled. Just gonna show you guys the length of the hair. <laughs> and I'm just gonna flex a little fresh perm who this what lace what lace babe what lace I'm in what lace I'm gonna need you to help me find the lace real quick real quick real quick <laughs> anyways guys um thank you guys so much for watching this video hold on let me get in position Guys, remember to check out the Good Hair Company. So this is the box again, and they are the Good Hair Company on um, Instagram and Facebook. All their credentials are right there. And their hair is bomb. I know I just applied it, but me applying it for the first time and being so versed in hair, like guys, I can tell you, this is bomb. Like, look at this slayage. Okay, whatever. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. Remember, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe because guess what? We're not fighting. The red button is free. And I know you guys like free. So make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video, guys. I know you got some friends out there who want some nice hair. And the good hair company got your back, okay? So share this video with your friends. Don't be shy. And it's thick. Bomb life, fix that is. But guys, this is so nice and I'm in love with it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Guess what guys? This is my hair. Like if this is my hair. Like don't play. Get into it. All day, slay. Period.